Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching. A big thank you to all my Instagram supporters here that have followed me from Instagram over to YouTube. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of July 2018. This message might be for someone here as I'm trying to get started with my reading within the next few months and communicate clearly. So you might have to make some decisions whether you're being offered something or whether you need to make changes in your life. Communicate clearly what it is that you want, expect, need. And again, get more information. So always remember, general readings may or may not resonate with everyone. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and never force a message to apply. Let's get started, Aquarius. So Aquarius, sun, moon, rising for the month of July 2018. What do we have going on? Take action. One more, please. Aquarius. No. Okay. So, Aquarius, right off the bat. Well, that one flew out for somebody, if you believe. So, Aquarius... You will come across a situation where you will need to take action. Your initial answer or your initial instinct might want to be to say no. You turn someone down, someone turns you down. In either case, I feel like there is some misinformation, missing, miscommunication here where you need to take action. However, I am going to call you to really think about what it is that you're trying to communicate, what it is you're trying to bring about, because I feel that your initial reaction or response might be a little hasty for some people, which is probably why the angels are saying no at this time. So let's clarify these two cards. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of July 2018. What does Aquarius have going on? The Devil card, also the sign of Capricorn, can also be contractually bound to something or someone. I normally don't take more than two to three cards uh, when they fly out, but these three I am going to show you. You have the Two of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. If there was a love offering, perhaps you have two choices to make here. If you are in a relationship that you've put in a lot of work into, and then someone new comes in and tries to offer you something, now you seem to be in this situation of stagnancy where you know you've put in a lot of work to a particular relationship or a particular job, you feel as though all your hard work hasn't been paid just yet. It will eventually. It's just not happening as soon or as fast enough as you'd like it to. And so you get this sense of two of swords where you're not moving fast enough. You're not able to decide. Do you go with something quick, fast, and easy that gets presented to you? Or do you continue putting in the work into something that you've already put in the work? Because you will have a new offering that comes in. There's your card. That's two major arcanas. You have the star card and the devil card. So, wow. You've got big, big things coming up in the month of July. All major arcanas. All majors here. Look at that. There's that Knight of Cups again. What is going on, Aquarius? All majors. So, this is definitely about a relationship or a partnership. Relationships can be love relationships, friendships, partnerships, at work, business, 
family. You're definitely feeling some strong energies this month. I see a lot of different characters here, a lot of different signs. Capricorn, Aquarius, Sagittarius. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Leo, Scorpio or Pisces. And more water right here, Two of Cups. So the only two cards you have here that are not major arcanas is the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups was your last card. So Aquarius, if you're feeling a bit imbalanced right now, if you're feeling these really, really heavy energies that are, you, it's almost as though you feel a little out of sorts or you've been feeling out of sorts lately. If it's affecting your partnerships or relationships because the lover's card is in reverse. From one corner to the other corner, we have the Lover's card and the Two of Cups. So if you are in a relationship where this feels like a strong connection, you feel like this was your soulmate relationship, this was the one that you're supposed to be with, this is, you know, the end all be all, but yet I'm going back to those three cards that came out earlier, that seven of pentacles, where you feel like you've put in a lot of work and it's not panning out for you. And then we have the Knight of Cups that comes in to try to make this love offering, almost as though saying, hey, he's not giving you or she's not giving you what you really want, but I can. And so it's really got you in this position of, do I or don't I? Do I stay, do I, do I go? Whatever it is that you have been leaning towards, if you have been thinking of taking up this quick and easy, you know, offer that comes in, this guy who knows how to charm you is offering you the world. The, your angels are saying, no, don't take it. You have the devil card and the knight of cups. There is something that's been bothering you for some time. You know, it's not just the relationship or the partnership as a whole that's making you feel imbalanced. There are other factors here. This feels like you have... This feels like you're not only feeling imbalanced in your relationship, but at work and in your family extended relationships. So what do you need to take action on? Well, there are certain relationships that you feel bound to. There are certain situations where you feel as though you can't move forward. There's some toxicity around it and you can't seem to break away from it. It may or may not involve a Capricorn. And again, this is the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you can have either or, or this is a couple within your surroundings, like maybe a brother and sister, like your parents. You have one that's an earth sign, one that's a water sign. Um, you know, people you work with. Maybe your spouse is a Capricorn and your kids, you have a water sign child. In either way, the angels are saying, take action. But what you initially were thinking of doing, of taking action, if you were thinking of, I'm going to walk away from everything, all the hard work I've put into, and I'm going to move forward to this other thing. Because this person is offering me everything I want, that this other person that I've been with that has me in this upside down, imbalanced feeling, they're not moving forward and I need to, I need to move forward. There's stagnancy, why are we not moving forward? But then someone comes in and tries to make you this offer of, let's move forward together. I can give you what you want. How about a job with me? How about we start this business? How about we start hanging out? 
because the other person that you're with isn't paying attention to you, isn't valuing you. Someone is definitely feeling left out in the cold, whether that's you or your partner or someone within your surroundings. With the Five of Pentacles, it feels like such a huge loss. This is a big month, Aquarius, for decision-making, for change. This is crucial and pivotal for you. Nothing, almost, almost nothing but majors. You, the, the two knights here, the eight of wands and the two of cups, everything else, oh, and the five of pentacles, everything else is major. Usually it's, one or two majors with supporting minor arcana. But you've got big things coming to you. You've got big things being presented to you. If there's an idea that someone presents to you, use your intuition. Is this going to make you feel like you're leaving people out in the cold because you decide to go somewhere else? You get offered a job with another company, company like someone comes in and recruits you. And you have this opportunity that you're being presented with, perhaps a new employer, a new, a new supervisor, a new boss comes in and says, hey, I've got the perfect opportunity for you. And they give you this sweet offer, this sweet deal. And you're afraid to leave your current employer because you're afraid to leave them hanging. You know that you're a crucial part of that team. You need to do what's best for you. You need to make that intuitive decision. It's time for you to start a new, a new chapter of your life. So let me show you something. You start with the, with the Capricorn, the devil card. You know that there's a need to take action. Your initial reaction as to the changes you want to make in your life is to say, no, I don't want to do it. And then when you finally come to this realization, you come to it very hastily where you don't really put any forethought to it. You just say, fuck it, I'm just gonna do this because, well, I have no choice. But no, your angels are saying, no, you do have a choice. You do have a choice to exercise your intuition, to make the right decisions for you. Don't go with the flow if the flow is not feeling it for you, okay? Like if you're not feeling it and you're just like, oh, well, I have no choice. I'm going to throw my hands up in the air and just keep moving. Then what you're essentially doing is closing your eyes, closing your eyes and blinding yourself. You're just moving along, moving along. You feel bound to something or there is a situation where you know you cannot walk away from. Now, do you feel that you cannot walk away from it? Or are you telling yourself you cannot walk away from it? Like if this is a contractual agreement that you made with someone, perhaps, perhaps you feel you can't walk away, you're afraid to get sued. If you're in a relationship with this Capricorn, you're afraid to get a divorce. How are you going to leave them in this position? You leave them out in the cold or they're going to walk away and leave you feeling left out in the cold. But right after this devil card, you got your card, the Aquarius card, the star card, which symbolizes hope, finding harmony, finding your balance. It's, it also speaks of very, very important and deep healing so that when you do find your balance, take that time, find your inner strength to keep moving forward. You have one foot in and one foot out. These two cups are not balanced. One foot in and one foot out. One foot in and one foot out. You know that your initial reaction to whatever this is, is not the right decision. Because your angels are saying, no, don't do that. You haven't thought this through. You have an opportunity for a new beginning. Take the time and really get more information. Use your intuition. Go within. 
go within, you can give birth to a new beginning. The phoenix rises, rises from the ashes. The sun will come up. Look at all these stars, stars, sun and moon, the sun. There's a need for healing, clarity, clarity in communication and what it is that you truly want and how you want to move forward. If you feel as though, you know, you've put in a lot of work into something and it's not paying out, it is helping you move forward. Very slowly, but you are moving forward. You do need to take control of your life. You do need to take action, but slow down. Really think things through. Really think things through. Use your own inner wisdom to start anew. The death card says yes. Rebirth. Reinvent yourself. Give birth and rebirth. These are new beginnings that are coming in. No matter how imbalanced you might feel in your current situation, in your current love, relationship, partnership, whatever it may be. Communicate clearly. Speak truthfully and honestly. Inner strength, inner wisdom. Because you may be making a decision where it's way too hasty. You haven't thought things through. But what you don't realize is that the minute you start walking down that path, you cannot go back the way you came from. This little lobster, he's unable to walk backwards and go back into the water. He essentially walks out of the water and out into the wild. What do you see here? Although this is the Pisces card, I've always thought of it as a Scorpio card. This is also the Scorpio card. And what do you see here? The rebirth card is that once you've reinvented yourself and this new version of you goes down that trail, eventually gets to the other side of those two towers. Same thing here. This is day and night. There are changes afoot you need to be ready for, but don't do it hastily. You have the strength to move forward in a much more positive light. Communicate clearly. Use your inner wisdom. Inner wisdom. It's okay to be emotional. It's okay to be angry. Do right by you. Don't make decisions just to please others. It's not about other people. It is about you. If you have children, it's about you and your children. If you're married and this is a, a business partnership outside of your marriage, safeguard your family before making those business, financial, career decisions. Whatever it is you feel tied to, it's time to release yourself from it. It really is. It is, it is time for you to release yourself from it. Let me pull one more card before I end this reading. I'm going to pull an angel therapy oracle card here. What does Aquarius need to know for the month of July 2018? How can they get through this month with more clarity? One more card, please. It's time to let loose, Aquarius, not be so serious. Take time to figure out what your next steps are going to be. If you are an indigo child, indigo adult, or you have an indigo child, whether it's you or somebody that is in within your circle, within your surroundings, if you have a child, you want to make changes within your life and you have a child that's an indigo child that's highly sensitive, but yet you know they may not have the confidence they need to be that natural born leader. They may be empathic where they might experience a lot of anxiety. They're afraid to move forward with their life. And so you've taken on, well, look what I see right in the middle. 
that that sense of worry you don't see the whole picture here but that was the first thing when I looked back down that I saw where you're overthinking the situation you are you are feeling this person's anxiety try not to be so serious I know that this month calls for big changes and you're feeling them right down to your bones be a little more lighthearted singing dancing go for a hike be more be more enthusiastic about the littlest things be more optimistic feel happy and grateful for where you are and what you have right now things may not be in the most perfect sense this is a time of transition for you and your family or your coworkers or your partner but you're strong enough to find your balance. You really are. The only card that came out in reverse is the lover's card. So if you are feeling like you want to move forward in a different direction from your partner and yet you feel bound to them, it's time you communicate. Be clear about what you want. Be very clear about it. Make sure that you two are on the same page. Make sure that when these major life decisions are being made, you're not just throwing things in their face. You're not just hurting them because you're upset. Because you feel like lashing out. Because you feel like you've put in so much work and it's not panning out. If this is a work situation where you've just had it with your boss, with your coworkers, really think about, really think about what it is that you want and take action, move forward, but not hastily. Communicate clearly and move forward. Okay, Aquarius, that was your reading for the month of July, 2018. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope that I was able to give you some clarity for the month of July. If you'd like a personal reading, you can find my information in the description box below. If you're not already following me on Instagram, I would love it for you to find me there. Instagram.com slash Virgo Angel Tarot. I do post daily and I do weekly live readings where, you know, we can interact there. So thank you for watching Aquarius and uh, I wish you the best. Bye.